Yeah, bud. Yeah, bud. I couldn't. Bruin feels pretty nice. Oh, oh, hold on. A lot of stuff changed with the most recent patch to all these weapons in Warzone. And as I've been saying time and time again in all of these videos, the time to kill is much longer now than it was just a week ago. And while watching the most recent J God video about the new meta and what we can expect and tips and tricks to how to find the new meta and what's going to work, what's not, I looked at the top of his long range time to kill list and I noticed an old familiar face was there. And that is none other than the Bruin. The Bruin now has one of the better time to kills in the game at range. I don't know what type of time chamber we stepped into with this most recent update, but when did all the modern warfare guns become so damn good again? I'm not mad at it because honestly, you know, you want my opinion ever since the Cold War integration, this game's kind of went to shit. But besides that, the modern warfare guns feel great again, and I'm pretty happy about it. Now, as always, I'm going to give you a couple of different builds that you can run with the Bruin. This first build is the classic Bruin with the 60 round mag attachment that basically makes this thing feel more like an assault rifle as far as mobility is concerned but when they nerf the Bruin one of the biggest things they nerf with this thing is on the 60 round mag attachment they basically gave you more recoil so the recoil control is not going to be as easy to control with this 60 round mag but you're going to be a lot more mobile now the second build that I like to run with the Bruin is a little bit less mobile because we get rid of that 60 round mag attachment and we leave the default 100 round mag and we add a tack laser so we get a little bit more recoil control it's a lot more laser beamy but you're not going to have the mobility that you will with the other build so play around with both of these experiment which fits your play style better i like both of them i can't really decide uh so i'll leave that up to you again as always let me know what type of weapons you want to see covered since this patch update um there's a lot to go over we could basically do class setup videos for the next month if we really wanted to although i don't really feel like doing that but if there's guns that you guys really really want to see covered let me know down in the comments as usual the bruin is one that i saw come up a bunch you guys are still saying the iso so i guess i'm gonna have to use it and uh, a lot of you saying qbz like i mentioned in the last video with the m13 so uh let me know but before you leave if you like these videos if you're enjoying the content please 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 like the video because you have no idea how much it helps for me and the algorithm and uh just enables me to keep doing this for you guys also consider subscribing if you aren't already and i really hope you enjoy the gameplay because i had a lot of fun using this I'm not going to lie, the Bruin is busting. Nope, you either. You either. You all can get it. You better fall off. Hey, I kill. I kill him. He's sitting right here. Right here. Ah. 
So like, what do we, what do we gotta, what do we gotta do to get these gamers? Okay, that guy just got dookied on. We got the dub though. Um, you know what I mean? Kudos to the teammates. Enemy UAV overhead. Protector of the fire Enemy sale. Enemy soldier incoming. Enemy UAV overhead. I I I literally don't have enough money for I, I, I don't even have a, enough money for plates. And they're three hundred dollars at the fire sale. Every person is still below me. And you'd think like, hey. Alright, I have no gas mask at all. I don't care how ratty that was. We got the dub. 